My name is Pierre Gordidier. I'm an attorney with Haynes & Boone in Houston, Texas, and I litigate uh, technology cases, including computer breaches. And Pierre, you're speaking today. Tell us a little bit about what you're speaking on. I'll be speaking about the LabMD case. It's a case that's uh, being uh, that's in front of the FTC right now, the Federal Trade Commission. It's a significant case. It's a it's a HIPAA data breach case um, that deals with the issue of the threshold that's required in a data breach for the FTC to get involved. And it's a pretty complicated case. But if you do, you think you could explain it and just you know a brief overview? It's it's a very complicated case. Uh, there's been a congressional inquiry. Uh, there's now uh, a, a justice action. The FBI has been involved in the case. In a, uh, in a nutshell, LabMD was a small medical company in Georgia. They provided uh, cancer detection services. And they had a, a small data breach. They had one file that escaped with something like 9,300 records that would arguably fall under HIPAA. And the FTC got involved. And uh, LabMD is now out of business. And the threshold, the question that's really being litigated in this case is how much harm has to happen for the FTC to get involved in a data breach? And the FTC's position is a very significant one. The FTC is saying no one has to get hurt if there's a breach. There, there is no threshold for harm as long as a company uh, has exposes its data or its consumer's data to the possibility of breach, that in and of itself is a breach of the FTC Act. And that allows the FTC to get involved. So this case could set a precedent going forward? Uh, this case will very likely set a precedent. Uh, the, uh, the first ruling that came out last November by the administrative law judge basically uh, threw out the FTC's case and says, no, it's not enough. The, the mere possibility of harm is not enough. Uh, there has to be more than that. And of course the FTC is appealing this to the full commission. Uh, the pleadings have been filed and we're waiting for the FTC to decide on the case. And you're expecting a ruling very soon? Well, it's, you know, these things are hard to predict, but it's, uh, we, we should get uh, a ruling within the next few months, I think. And what's the message you're delivering today to you know, practitioners and security professionals? Well, obviously, be mindful of, uh, of the case law. Be mindful of how aggressively the FTC wants to police data breaches. Uh, uh, the, the FTC has issued guidelines on what to do for, uh, for data security. Uh, companies, all companies, should pay attention to these guidelines. These guidelines are really threshold guidelines in terms of what they should do to, uh, to, to ensure the data security of their, uh, of their consumers. And a key takeaway is that these guidelines uh, are a process. It's not, data security is not something that you achieve and then you're done. It's something that you continuously have to improve. You continuously have to be alert to, the, uh, to, uh, to what hackers are up to. It's a, it's a battle. It's a, it's a continuing battle. And no matter how small your company is, you need to be aware of the consequences. That Absolutely. And if, you, uh, if you're going to... Uh, if you're going to be involved with data that involves banking information or HIPAA information, what the FTC is telling you is going to be threshold uh, criteria that you must meet. You also have to meet whatever is in the statutes that apply to your particular industry, the HIPAA statutes or the, uh, the, banking, st the, uh, the banking statutes. Perfect.